Hello and welcome to this Codebook in Chunks tutorial. Instead of our traditional task based process tutorials, what we're going to do here today is look at Codebook in terms of a process that we wish to complete. So today's process is creating a set of C sheets from a Revit model that previously doesn't have a Codebook database linked to that. So we're going to start this tutorial from scratch. And as we can see here, I have a loaded Revit project with rooms. So we're going to start by moving over to Codebook and creating a new Codebook project. We're going to select our standard project with metric units. The standard project is completely empty. Alternatively, we could choose the option for Browse for SQL Server Templates if you have a previous Codebook project you want to base this upon but we're going to assume you're starting fresh. So we'll select the standard project and click next. We're going to tell Codebook where to place this data. And we'll give this a project name. And I call mine C Sheets. We need this project a title and a number and a note. I want to get Cobit to create a new library for the room data and equipment. Cobit is going to now go away and create a new project for us. Codebook has now completed creating a new empty data set for us to work in. So if we go down to our room lists on our project explorer, we can see that our database is empty. So we're going to move over to Codebook now. And we're going to choose the option to create rooms in Codebook linked to Revit rooms. So we're going to export these rooms from Revit into Codebook. So what we have now is the export Revit rooms to a Codebook project wizard. It's a step-by-step -step six stage wizard in which we select the rooms we wish to copy from Revit and the data to which we want to import into Codebook. So I want to import all of my rooms, all of my departments in any phase. I want to create new rooms. Now on step three is here is where we define which data we want to map to the Codebook database. So we're going to leave the basics in place, such as the department code, department name, room code, room name. Step four consists of defining the default code and names where data doesn't exist. And step six is finally just confirming the import process. We can see that Codebook is now exporting these 62 rooms from Revit and importing these into Codebook. So we're going to close that wizard now and we're going to move back to Codebook. And we're going to refresh the navigator. And we can see that we have our rooms now listed in Codebook. If we go into the room editor, we see we have basic information such as it's linked to BIM, the synchronization date, we have f &E update dates, as well as basic room information such as the room code and room name. Codebook now has to know where these rooms exist within that Revit model, so if I were to select display room, Cobook now knows we're dealing with a staff overnight stay. Now this is all we need to do to start the C-sheet creation process. So we can select the create C-sheet. And we can actually start to bring some rooms into our build list. So I'm going to choose my staff overnight stay room. And I can drag and drop from the project explorer. Or I can use the options below to import rooms, room instances, an entire floor or an entire department 
or the entire build list. On the left hand side of the tree we now have the options as regards how we want to set up the C sheet. So we have plan options, elevation options, equipment schedule, how we want the layout to be viewed, views and sheet names, view templates, so the title sheet to be used, the plan view, ceiling view, elevation view and 3D view to be used and finally what to do if we're actually using this to recreate our C sheets. So we have one room in our build list and we click create C sheets. Copic's now completed the creation of our C sheets. And once we have a plan view and the elevation views and the title block. This is a C sheet that's been created with no prior setup no configuration of the codebook properties is in its default settings. Now if your format requirements differ slightly from this they can be edited from within the C sheet settings window but we've kept it simple for clarity. That concludes the codebook in chunks tutorial for creation of C sheets without a codebook database prior to the import process. If you have any questions please contact support at codebookinternational.com. Thank you.